This is an overview of how to use the Badge Training Mode feature in the Admin Panel. This feature allows you to train all of your staff on how to use the badge without triggering an actual alert. You'll learn how to schedule a training session, practice with staff, and end a training session. Admin Panel Sign In First, go to web.sendtjix.com and log in. Then go to the top right corner of the screen and click on the three horizontal lines. Finally, click on Admin Panel. Schedule a training session. Select Badge Training from the menu bar on the left. Then click Schedule Training Session in the top right corner. Now you'll choose the duration of the training session, 30 minutes, 1 hour, or 2 hours. Please note, the training session will automatically end after the selected duration is up, but you can always end the training early. You'll see two options for when to start the training session, Start Now or Schedule Time. We recommend using Start Now. We'll go over the directions for Start Now first, and at the end we will show you how to use Schedule Time. When you are ready, press Schedule. After you click Schedule, a warning message will pop up to ensure you understand that while you're in badge training mode, alerts won't be received and responders won't be notified. When you're ready to continue, click Create Session. When you press this, you'll automatically go to the desktop view to monitor activations. Practice badge presses with your staff. Once you're on the desktop view, you'll see some different pieces of information. You will see how much time remains in your session, the number of activations that have been triggered, and any details about any activated alerts. As users practice activating an alert on their badge, the alert information will be posted on the desktop view. Please only have your staff practice the three-click staff alerts. Every time someone activates an alert, the desktop view will display their name, location, click type, badge MAC ID number, and the date and time the alert was activated. Manage this process by having one person click their badge at a time. When their name appears, then have the next person press their badge, and so on. The purpose of badge training is so staff learns how it feels to press the badge, how many times you have to click, and the response time. It also allows you the opportunity to make sure the badge information is accurate. Please note, when you're in an active badge training session, no strobes, intercom announcements, or desktop takeovers will happen. Responders will also not receive any notifications. This is because the system is temporarily offline. Ending a training session. When all of your staff members have had the opportunity to practice with their badge, you can end the badge training session early by clicking End Now on the top right corner of the screen. Then a message will appear asking you to confirm that you want to end your session now. Click End Now to confirm. Please note, wait at least two minutes after the last badge activation before you end the session. Once your badge training session is complete, you can use the download button to get the list of alerts created during the session. Badge Training Mode Best Practices Have all staff practice using their badge in training mode. Make sure you select the site you're at from the Admin panel. Wait one minute after entering badge training mode before activating alerts. Wait two minutes after the last badge activation before ending badge training mode. When training new staff in this mode, make sure to alert all other staff on site who already have their badges that the system is in badge training mode for the next X minutes and that their badges won't transmit an alert until the system is back online. Training session for a future date. If you'd like to schedule a training session in advance, you can do so when you're under Schedule Badge Training Session in the Admin Panel. Choose the duration of the training session, 30 minutes, 1 hour, or 2 hours. Then under Select Start Time, you'll select Schedule Time. When you click on Schedule Time, a calendar will pop up. Select the date and time for when you want to begin that training. When you are ready, press Schedule. After you click Schedule, a warning message will pop up to ensure you understand that while you're in badge training mode, alerts won't be received and responders won't be notified. When you're ready to continue, click Create Session. Once your training session is scheduled, you can delete it but not change it. When it's time for the session you scheduled, you'll click on Badge Training on the left side of the Admin panel and find the training session you're going to be starting. Click on Monitor Activations for your scheduled session 
to get the QR code for the web link to monitor the progress of your session. You can either scan the QR code with your phone or click on View Desktop underneath the code. If you have additional questions, please contact support at centigix.com.